Becoming invisible is something that many of us have dreamed of, and although we haven't been able to create a real-life invisibility cloak or device yet, we have come up with some concepts, ideas, and innovations which can get us to the same level, or at least somewhat close. Here are eight scientific concepts that can lead us to the possibility of becoming invisible. Number eight, radar cross-section reduction. Objects can be detected in a number of ways, not just visually as you may have guessed from the name. Radar cross-section reduction is a method of making objects invisible by turning them into smaller, presumably less significant objects, which make them invisible to radio wave detection systems. This is usually achieved by preventing radio waves which are emitted by radar stations from bouncing back off an object's surface, which would lead it to being detected, in other words, deflection the B-2 stealth bomber's predecessor. The old F-117 Nighthawk, for example, is capable of deflecting radio waves away from its receiving stations with a combination of design configurations, most notably the use of faceted panels and radiation-absorbent paint with specially angled faceted panels. Most of the radio waves bounce off the aircraft at a diffusing angle while the radiation absorbent paint soaks in some of the waves in order to absorb the electromagnetic energy as heat, as technically sound as the concept may be. However, our RCS reduction is by no means capable of rendering something completely invisible. However, it's often enough to confuse and interfere with standard detection systems to the point that accurately discerning an aircraft signature can be difficult. Number 7. Temperature Diffusion All objects on Earth that are capable of active motion or operation emit heat. It is, after all, always one of the inevitable byproducts of energy use. Thus, self-aircraft also have to account for things such as their heat signature to further maximize their stealth capabilities. Temperature diffusion attempts to solve this detection issue by spreading or adjusting the temperature gradient of an object so that it more or less either matches another heat signature of lesser risk or importance, or if possible, matches the surrounding background temperature. Going back to the Lockheed F-117 Nighthawk, the aircraft is actually also capable of reducing its heat detection signature by using a slit-shaped tailpipe. This allows less exhaust heat to be detected at a given moment in time, which while incapable of completely rendering it invisible, will at least mask its exact identity to nearby station. Another example is the thermal invisibility system developed by British defense company BEA Systems announced in 2011. It made use of adaptive, a special matrix of hexagonal plates designed to adjust the apparent temperature of anything that is installed with it. Developers of the technology advertised, for instance, that it can hide an entire tank's heat signature by changing it into something similar to what a cow would look like. Number 6. Plasma Stealth Plasma, you know those supercharged ionized particles that make up our very own sun. It's been known that plasma has several distinct properties when interacting with electromagnetic field. These properties are the basic foundations of plasma stealth technology, conceptualized as early as 1956 and developed further by the Russians. The basic principle is simple. Modify the target's radar signature to either assume the identity of another aircraft, confuse receiving stations or playing old radar cross-section reduction. That's right. While radar cross-section reduction simply works to passively reduce the blip of an aircraft to radar plasma stealth aims to change the target object's radar signature via an active system. In theory, a plasma stealth system can be ideally adjusted to deflect more or less electromagnetic waves or to absorb more or less waves as heat, depending on the stealth requirements of a given moment. Of course, just like radar cross-section reduction, and temperature diffusion. An aircraft surrounded by a cloud or a bubble of plasma will still be visible to the naked eye, so it still lands around the boring end of our invisibility technology spectrum. Number 5. Optics Modification As we all know, the naked eye observes its surroundings via received light waves. An object at a distance is visible because some of the light waves hitting the object bounce towards your eye. If you can somehow manipulate the light waves to go around an obstruction and hit your eye, 
as if it simply bounced off the object, then the obstruction will practically be invisible to you. That is the basic principle of optics modification. With the use of special cameras, lenses, and programming algorithms, scientists at the University of Rochester in New York have built a system that can trick the eye into completely missing the object that is meant to be seen in between the obstruction is apparently moved from view by calculating the supposed direction of the light waves, then it recreates the same pattern without them. Obstruction actively adjusting as the viewer moves around his or her perspective. As with all of our entries revealed thus far, optics modification has its own rather obvious limitations. Also, it's kind of a cheat in the way that it never really covers or hides the object. However, it is the first example in this list that shows a good representation of an invisibility device that we're all familiar with. Number 4. Optics Modification 2.0 you may have recently seen a certain invisible jet from the new Spider-Man movie. While this may look futuristic akin to the retroreflective panels of the helicarrier within the same film universe, the concept of using cameras and screens to make something blended to the background is actually much closer to reality than you think. In fact, that very idea was actually demonstrated by car manufacturing. Mercedes in a promotion stunt, the promotional piece showed a specialized setup that used a set of strapped cameras on the right side of the vehicle while an array of LEDs was slapped on the left. The camera captured what it sees on its side while the LEDs show the exact image being captured, essentially letting light pass through via these two mediums. Of course, the invisibility effect is rather apparent and obvious, especially if you view it from another angle, but it still proves that even with such a simple idea, any object can become see-through. Besides, it doesn't have to be inspected. Carefully place a considerable amount of distance in between like perhaps the sky and the ground, and this would be just as good as any whimsical sci-fi cloak. Number three, surface wave cloak. Stealth cloaks don't always have to make things completely invisible. Sometimes simply hiding a specific part, contour, or surface is enough to keep features you don't want to be exposed out of sight. Sometime during July 2016, researchers at the KMUL School of Electronic Engineering and Computer Science demonstrated a very thin coating material, which allows bumps and curves on the surface to appear completely flat to electromagnetic waves. The surface wave cloak, as it is called, is made up of a nano-composite medium belt with seven layers that have varying electric properties. While the applications of this feature, hiding technology may sound questionable at first, the idea does seem reasonable enough when structure-based exterior design elements are involved. For instance, as explained by the researchers, a surface wave cloak may allow certain installations, such as antennas, to be placed in awkward locations without obstructing the surrounding field view. They will simply blend into the background, disappearing from view, since electromagnetic waves will instead just move through the surface where it is placed. Number 2. Invisibility via Evasion Jamming, guidance, and targeting systems may not exactly fit with our traditional standard ideas of invisibility. However, I decided to include it as there are a few notable examples that work more or less like the ones I've already mentioned. One of the most common techniques includes using infrared radiation as blanketing cover against heat-seeking missiles. The principle is simple turn the surrounding temperature of the area behind the aircraft into a sort of blanket, which is something that the missile would inevitably lock onto. However, it would be unable to pinpoint the target, therefore forcing it to either detonate prematurely or cause navigation systems to go haywire. Another standard method is to use chafe projectiles, which are like fireworks ejected off a vehicle. The tiny shards of metal scattered around can mask the actual target within a sea of literally hundreds of points and blips. Chafe devices are countermeasures specifically designed against radar after all, and as such could presumably also work well against the missile's guidance electronics. Invisibility in this sense is not to hide but instead to use as a cover, actively deployed in much the same way as a plasma stealth system. Number 1. Space-Time Cloak What if there's a whole new cloaking tech 
that allows you to essentially become a ghost, almost like you can disappear at will. Much like the ghost character from StarCraft, the space-time cloak, as it is awesomely named, attempts to conceal moments from view by altering the times when bounced or redirected lights interacts with observers. It was first introduced from a research paper from the Journal of Optics that was submitted in November of 2010. Basically, the research states that if you can control how light and radiation reaches its observers and detectors, you can obscure entire events concerning the target object from view, thus rendering it invisible. A detection device would, for instance, lose an object from using this technology for several moments before reappearing again as another blip in another place. While it sounds like a form of teleportation, do take note that the objects never actually jumped from one location to another. Remember, it is only the light mounting off the object that is manipulated to arrive at a later point in time. The object still manually moved along its intended path. Unfortunately, though presented as a possibility, the space-time cloak is just as stumped as cloaking beans are at the moment. There just isn't any device that could do the light adjustments as required by the concept. What are your thoughts about these ideas? Are some of them too lame or simply too fantastic to be real? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.